Hi there, I'm Jerry Jeff Smith, I'm a whiskey distiller on Price's Mountain in Chester County, South Carolina. It is 1825. Hello, I'm Sharon Jean, Jerry Jeff's wife. I usually ride shotgun with him and Eadle, our mule, when it comes time to transport the whiskey to town. Me and Sharon Jean invented the exhaust hole modifications and the use of nitromethanol. It's an interesting story actually. Actually the story has some high points and some low points. Me and Sharon Jean was headed off the mountain with a load of white whiskey one day. A band of highwaymen on thoroughbred horses set after us. They aimed to hijack us and steal the whiskey. I hollered over to the mule, don't look e -e at all, but it was too late she done been terrified. Me too, I just lit a corn cob pipe and sparks was a flying everywhere. Meantime e -e done speeded up and was going way too fast. The highwayman was bearing down on us at a right quick pace. I went to kick the wagon brake. My foot missed. My boot went where the sun don't shine. The darned mule squalled like a banshee and took off like a shooting star. We done outrun the highwayman and set a record common off the mountain to town. Time I got my boot out from needle sensitive areas, the back pressure done built, and she exploded. With the blowback, a lot of which was methanol, the sparks from my pipe ignited, and a plume of fire from Eadle's backside propelled us even faster. Problem was the fire set off the whiskey which was darn near 200 proof. Time we got the mule stop we was in the next county. That's pretty much the story. We figured out that, by poking things into the exhaust, you can speed up quite a bit. We also figured that methanol and alcohol form a volatile mixture that will explode when vaporized and ignited. The explosion will boost the crap out of a mule. We also learned, when you ignite a barrel of whiskey you are sitting on, the fire will burn a hole in the seat of your breeches. It took us dang near 10 years to grow a lower hair back.